രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഒൻപതിൽ ഇതേ വേദിയിൽ വെച്ച് മലയാളത്തിന്റെ മലയാളത്തിന്റെ വിവർത്തനം നടക്കുകയുണ്ടായി അന്നും ശശി തരൂർ എം പി സാറായിരുന്നു പ്രകാശനം ചെയ്തത് വീണ്ടും ഇതേ വേദിയിൽ അതിന്റെ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ട്രാൻസ്ലേഷൻ നടക്കുകയാണ് ലോകം മുഴുവൻ ആരാധിക്കുന്ന എം പി ശശി തരൂർ അവർക്ക് തന്നെ ഈ പുസ്തകം പ്രകാശനം ചെയ്യുന്നു പുസ്തകം സ്വീകരിക്കുന്നത് പുസ്തകം സ്വീകരിക്കുന്നത് ജയകുമാർ സാർ ആണ് സാധനയുടെ വേദന കണ്ടുപിടിച്ച അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അങ്ങനെ ഒരു പ്രയോഗം നടത്തിയ ജയകുമാർ മലയാളത്തിന്റെ സ്വന്തം സ്വകാര്യ അഹങ്കാരം ജയകുമാർ സാർ സ്വീകരിക്കുന്നു ഹുസൈൻ ശൈലജ രവീന്ദ്രൻ തൽപ്പാൻ ഇരിക്കുന്ന എല്ലാ ബഹുമാന്യരെ സാഹിത്യ പ്രേമികളെ സർവതി സ്വാതന്ത്ര്യമായി എല്ലാവർക്കും എന്റെ വിനീതമായ നമസ്കാരം പത്ത് വർഷം മുമ്പ് ഈ പുസ്തകത്തിന്റെ മലയാള വിദേശ കരിമണ്ണിൽ ഞാൻ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു ഞാനായിരുന്നു പ്രകാശം ചെയ്തത് ഞാൻ ആ സമയത്ത് അതിനെ കുറിച്ച് മലയാളത്തിൽ സംസാരിച്ചു അപ്പൊ പത്ത് വർഷം കഴിഞ്ഞ് ഈ പുസ്തകത്തിന്റെ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ഇറങ്ങുമ്പോൾ മലയാളത്തിൽ വീണ്ടും പ്രസംഗിക്കാൻ എന്റെ വലിയൊരു അർത്ഥം കാണുന്നു കാരണം ഇത് മലയാള പുസ്തകമല്ല It's a Tamil book that has been translated into English. So let me say a few words in English in appreciation of this book. Dr. Priyadar Shidi is a young gynecologist at the medical college. She's 27 years old. She has, with amazing dedication and true love for her grandfather and for his writings, rendered all of us the great service of writing a remarkable translation of a very substantial book. The original, which we in Kerala know as Karimanna, was published in 1976. So the young translator was not even born. In fact, she was, I think her, I don't know if her mother was even born at that time, but uh, she certainly wasn't. Many years later, when she read it at the age of 12, she was captivated by the story, it stayed with her, and then, Years later, she embarked upon the task of its translation while doing her work as a doctor. She describes carrying the book in her lab coat, carrying it in her lab coat pocket, and translating it even on her mobile phone whenever she had the spare time. That is truly a work of love, and I want to congratulate you on that. Uh, when she first wrote to me, um, I must say I get a lot of such requests. So I, I wasn't initially uh, uh, you know, going to, but it so happened that I, uh, I was able to see the first three chapters. Actually, there were two very beautiful aspects to the story that endeared Priyadashini to me. The first is that uh, she wrote to me during uh, COVID when I had the time to read emails a little more than I have these days. So I was able to see those three chapters. And secondly, she enclosed a drawing she had done of me when she was 14. which I thought was such an act of uh, sweetness. I will say that her translation is a lot better than her drawing. But nonetheless, <laughs> the fact is that she did do that. And I thought that I must uh, read this with sympathy. And it was very beautifully translated. The interesting thing about, uh, I mean, there are very, very interesting things about this book. You already heard from Dr. Jay Kumar. It's a work of great substance from a Sahiti Academy winning novelist. This is not a small work. It's, it's substantial in its content. Its depiction of the village life in this black soil region of the Tamil Nadu is so vivid and evocative. You feel you have been transported to that village. You are experiencing the dryness, the heat, the drought, the lack of water, the, the unjust social relations in that place. Um, and 
Why you're immersed in the lives of those characters. Priya Darshini has used, I don't read Tamil, so I don't know what the original was like, but in the English, the place comes alive in very simple, clear, lucid language. And what is interesting about this translation is that she has remained faithful to the principal business of telling the story and letting the story evolve. So the story is something that the 400 pages sit lightly on because the translation is not at all in the desert. When I was her age or younger, I would have to say that it was often a challenge reading books from Indian languages translated into English because our translations were simply not understandable. In many ways, the challenge of translation is not just to render in English or any other language the words of the original. The challenge is to communicate the feelings of the writer, the spirit, the tone of the language being used by the writer, and the content of what the writer is trying to say in the most appropriate and natural language, which may not necessarily be an exact literal translation. And I must say that um, without knowing the original, all I can say is that Priya Darshini book does not read like a translation. It reads as if it has been composed in English, which a few Tamil words being used quite naturally, especially to refer to people and, and, and relationships. But that is natural. Even if you were writing a novel today as a Tamil person, in English, you would want to use some normal Tamil words because you wouldn't refer to, um, you know, uh, you wouldn't refer to a teacher by an English name teacher necessarily. Kerala, we do, <laughs> but in, in Tamil Nadu, you necessarily in, in this village use the Tamil word for it, and you do, and so on. But I will say that what was very striking is that there is, as a result, no barrier between the story and the non-Tamil reader. This is a very considerable accomplishment for a translator. Because the purpose of translation has to be to bring accessibility to the book in such a way that somebody who does not know the language of the original is still able to relate to the story and immerse himself or herself in it. So I really want to congratulate Priyadar for you for having accomplished this. I think your grandfather has every reason to be proud of you. Because, uh, he is somebody who has a considerable, considerable bibliography. 27 books, I counted, four novels, 11 short story collections, five biographies, and seven anthologies of essays. So this is a, a substantial body of work. But with the success of this translation, I certainly hope that Priya Darshini will turn her attention, especially in the long hours when you're waiting for a baby to be delivered, since she's a gynecologist and a physician. Uh, that she can turn her attention to other works of her grandfather and present this great writer to those of us who do read Tamil and who do read English uh, in, in a way that um, helps us understand the amazing, amazing uh, uh, level of achievement. He won the 1994 Sahitya Academy Award, um, and this is something that uh, we mustn't forget. But this book was published when he was a much younger man, as a 36 year old man. And the spirit, the passion, the engagement, the uh, anger at the injustices he's depicting. The, uh, at the same time, the, the spirit of young love, the, 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 the relations between the characters have been very, very compellingly uh, described. So it's, a, it's an amazing book. It's 400 pages, so you have to settle down to a substantial uh, work. But thanks to the light, deft, accessible translation, I have to say it is an absolute pleasure to read. Uh, O'Neill is a master of his craft. We all know that, but this is an early work of his. He is, I'm sure, become even more accomplished than all the years since. But in the course of that early work, uh, the spirit that is in this book has been beautifully captured by his granddaughter and presented to all of us. So let me once again say to you, I'm very pleased that Black Soil, very Mandarin Malayalam, exists now in, in English as well. And I'm very pleased that uh, that uh, Sri Purnil and Tirupunilan has been blessed 
in his own family tree with somebody who can do justice to his writing. And I look forward to more works from the grandfather and granddaughter together. I look forward to very much more of that. And I'm with great pleasure and pride and power, pleased to officially release Black Soil and mm -hmm. publish my penguin in English. Dr. Sasita Boo, a very famous novelist and intellectual, has published my novel. My own tradition into English. And I want to tell you something. I, my, my, my tradition is that my mother, I hear I hear what, is a novelist. She has written a novel about. My family, our family life, and it was published. It was published and republished, republished two or three times. And now also it is, it is being appreciated. And now, myself, my daughter, I have a Dila. She is also a doctor. But she has and it is at this. And my... My younger daughter, yes, my younger daughter, Anita. She also, she is writing now certain criticism, mostly criticism. Uh, and now, my generation. My daughter, my grand granddaughter, Priyadashini, has come forward to translate and publish this novel, Black Soil, into English. And when Queen, the famous book, book company, has come forward to translate it, to, to publish it in English, it's a prestige for me. It's a great prestige for me. And now, Dr. Rasitharu I'm proud, I'm proud, I'm proud. 
that now is a moment my novel edition is translated by my granddaughter and, and it is being published by Penguin Publishers into English and so that the whole of the English going world will read it. And now I am very, very proud that Dr. Sachin Tendu has come forward and when the teacher says, tell what is wrong, he will release a novel. You will see, she will say, and now. Good evening to all of you. Um, Karisal novel originally published in 1976, like four, 47 years before, still remains in print. So it is because it has got truth. In 52 long chapters, it has described the life of the people of Karisal, the pain, the agony, their cultures, beliefs, customs, and so much. I think I was around 12 when I first read the novel, and uh, um, I couldn't uh, stop reading it. I read it at one stretch in three days, uh, eager to know the unfolding events. And I, 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 I don't know how it, I, I got that inspiration, and I started translating it. And uh, I translated a few chapters and gave it to my grandfather, actually. And he was too scared. He thought I would lose my interest to studies, and he, he told me, not now, you first become a doctor and then you can do whatever you want. And then I joined MBBS, I asked him again. And this time he told, not now, you get your PG and then you can do whatever you want. So again, I got my PG and then life had uh, changed and it had, uh, it has become more uh, hard now. So harder now and um, uh, I, I have joined uh, my PG in obstetrics and gynecology at Stanley Medical College. and. Uh, my friends from Stanley would know, Roshini is here and my other friends, Divya is here and uh, they would know actually that thousands of deliveries happen in a month and uh, we uh, hardly get time to eat and sleep, we uh, long for sleeping undisturbed for four hours continuously. So, um, uh, but I somehow got inspiration from my grandfather. He used to write, when, I remember he used to write whenever we travel. He used to note his ideas in bus tickets, in tissue papers and many such. So I uh, started doing whenever I got time. I used to carry it in my coat as uh, Dr. Shashi Tharoor has mentioned. Uh, and I used to write whenever I get time, uh, during my post duty offs, when I have, when I was having food and uh, maybe uh, like waiting for a long labor and all, uh, all 
all such and then finally i finished it in 2 years uh, during covid covid period was uh, it gave me more time and i had uh, we had quarantines after one week duty and uh, i translated more and i could finish this in my covid duties so after 2 years i i completed my translation and i must really thank writer ambai who helped me edit the whole manuscript and i must thank dr shashi tarur he might not know how much he has influenced me and how much he has helped me do this because i used to follow him i used to read his columns and i used to note uh, note down all these difficult words from his vocabulary and uh, i used to note and use them at appropriate places so uh his love for language like it is not just english he loves malayalam he loves tamil he loves many other languages and uh, uh his he is so he he loves them so much so dearly that he cares to know about the roots of the words the etymologies like uh, so many words the british has looted from uh, india to the west uh, like for example cash cash is tamil word kas and many other words like that he ha- he has discovered these words are actually our words and uh, it has gone to the west so uh, saying this i remember one more story my grandfather used to say adu nan malayalathil thana parayam engil adinte oru rasam undavum so oru saip adu angere ee tiruvananthapuram ingane nadannu veruvayirunnu appo avade oru oru muttashi kashuvandi work vayirunnu അപ്പോൾ ഇങ്ങേർക്ക് അതിൻ്റെ ആ സുഗന്ധം ആ മണം നല്ല ഇഷ്ടപ്പെട്ടു അപ്പോൾ ഇങ്ങേർക്ക് അത് വാങ്ങാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് ആ അമ്മയോട് പോയി ചോദിക്കുക ഇതെന്തുവാ സാധനം എന്ന് അപ്പോൾ അവർക്ക് അത് മനസ്സിലായില്ല മേ ബി അവർ വിചാരിച്ചു ഇത് എത്രയാണെന്ന് ചോദിക്കാന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് ആ കാശിനെട്ടെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു അങ്ങനെയാണ് കാശുനെട്ടായത് കാശിനെട്ടാണ് കാശുനെട്ടെന്നായത് സോ ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരുപാട് വേർഡ്സ് ഒരുപാട് വേർഡ്സ് ഡയറക്റ്റ് ആയിട്ടും ഇൻഡയറക്റ്റ് ആയിട്ടും ഇങ്ങനെ നമ്മുടെ നാട്ടിൽ നിന്ന് കുറെ വേർഡ്സ് ദ ട്രാവൽ ടു ദ വെസ്റ്റ് സോ ഇത് ഞാൻ മലയാളത്തിൽ പറഞ്ഞത് എന്നാലേ ഒരു രസം ഉണ്ടാവുള്ളൂ ലൈക്ക് ട്രാൻസ്ലേഷൻ ഇസ് സോ കോം ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ കോംപ്ലെക്സ് വേർക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻവോൾവ്സ് ഷിഫ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ഡൈനമിക്സ് ഓഫ് വേരിയസ് ഡൈനമിക്സ് ഓഫ് എ ലാംഗ്വേജ് ലൈക്ക് വി നീഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ലൈക്ക് ഷിഫ്റ്റിംഗ് ദ സ്വീറ്റ്നെസ് ഓഫ് നെക്ട ഫ്രം വൺ ഫ്ലാർ ടു അനദർ so it is quite complex and uh, sometimes avinde idu namaka a or language le kittullu and especially in trivandrum so uh, thank you so much sir and thank you for staying here i i never expected that i thought he would be here launching the book and he he will leave immediately that's what i thought and he has stayed here uh, so i this this is really unbelievably precious moment in my life uh, thank you so much sir and i really thank uh, jay kumar sir he has uh, in his busy schedule he has read the novel and he spoke about it and i must thank uh, gn panikar sir uh, he has uh, given a very good introduction and uh, a very good uh, he compared actually the original with the malayalam one and i mean the english with the malayalam one and uh, it it shows how much he has enjoyed it and i'm really thankful for that and thank you so much tampan sir and uh, you have given a good introduction and you uh, you have uh, um, given a great introduction about tata and the novel thank you so much sir and uh, i must thank shailaja ma'am as i already did she is the translator who translated tirukural from uh, i mean her father her father and uh, maybe she has also done it so both of them have compiled and uh, translated tirukural tamil's greatest treasure to english so it is such a great thing and she was uh, she was, she has been helping me she call, she talked to all these erudite writers invited them she even fixed this place for the book uh, for the launch and uh, she has been with me uh, throughout the organization process and all that i must thank her thank you so much and thank you sir uh, he has uh, had a very nice poem recitation uh, and i must thank penguin for launching this book, for releasing this book and uh, uh, especially the editors manasi and shreya and ahana for uh, she has designed this beautiful banner and she has also arranged a signing session where you can get the book at 10% off please get the book those who, who have uh, not got it already please get the book here and uh, thank you my family my mother is here my chitti is here and uh, my sister my husband everyone my mother in law is from come from all the way from chennai and i am really thankful for everyone my friends from uh, stanley roshni is here Div- divya is here and uh, 
uh, I don't remember your name, but uh, <laughs> thank you for coming and thank, thank you all media friends, thank you. Thank you Suhaib sir and uh, he gave me all the numbers, all the contacts of other uh, press people. And uh, I really thank all of you who have come uh, and made this evening so special and meaningful. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah.